Cutting through the clutter to find the right content can be daunting, especially when you're looking through large, complex knowledge bases, policies and procedures, and online help systems. The 2015 release of Adobe RoboHelp has an innovative solution, dynamic content filtering. The end user chooses what they want to see rather than having to wade through everything just to get to the good stuff. View by company role, office location, market types, products, or virtually any category the author would like to create. Selecting the country location allows us to see only content that pertains to U.S., U.K., or Canada. Let's say a travel company has sales staff and software development staff. A software developer doesn't want to wade through the special promotions offered by the sales department. Just as folks in the sales department are not interested in technical software specifications intended for developers, the best approach is to personalize the content with a filter option. Now, when the developer looks at the table of contents, all the sales-related material is out of sight. Oh, and it works for the index as well. Only those index keywords related to developers show up. Here's an example of travel market types. Select corporate or leisure or custom to separate the three types. Then check a country location to further refine the selection. Searching is more rewarding as well because results are only returned from those sections the end user cares about. Dynamic content filters are easy to create because Adobe RoboHelp handles much of the logic for you. The technique uses familiar conditional build tags to mark content in the design editor. It works for topic content as well as the table of contents and index. Color coding can be turned on and off to see what is marked up. Then a filter group is created and criteria for each category. You can also assign a complex build expression, but this can result in a long string that is unwieldy. The solution is to give it a friendly name to make it easy for the end user to understand. For application help, you can call context sensitive help with a URL that reflects a pre filtered combination of content. There is also a convenient way to preview tagged content in the actual output to see exactly what is tagged. Personalized content with dynamic content filters. Another reason to start using the powerful new features of the 2015 release of Adobe RoboHelp.